In this video, I'll teach you how to add a Spotify embed to your Webflow site. In this first example website, pharmasu.com, when you scroll down the website, you'll notice that there is a dedicated tune into Dr. Sue podcast section where she's added a Spotify embed of a playlist of every single podcast that she's been featured in. So this is one example of what it will look like. The second example is bondilines.com. When we head over to a specific venue, let's just say Bank Hotel, this specific page provides information on this hotel. Uh, for, example, for example, opening hours and frequently asked questions. But you'll notice that there's actually a Spotify embed that is actually implemented in the site. And when the user clicks play, you'll play an audio file explaining the Bank Hotel as well. So there's many ways you can use a Spotify embed, but these are just two examples. Let's go ahead and build this super, super quick and simple. All you want to do is just head over to the section you want to add your embed, click onto plus and just drag in an embed to the div block or the container that you want. And then from here, you want to go ahead and go into Spotify and you want to find a public playlist. Let's just say, for example, I have this nostalgic songs for 2000 kid. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on this three dot icon, click share and click embed playlist. From here, you'll be given two options of colors. One is just a default um, black and white color. And the other option is an automatic generated color by Spotify. So at the time of recording this video, you only have two options and you can't really change the color of this. It's only the color that Spotify dictates. What you can try to do is to update the album cover or the, the playlist cover, and that would automatically prompt Spotify to generate a color that is relevant to that specific thumbnail image. So that's how you could change the color, but besides that, you can't really manually change it into a specific hexacode. The next thing you can also change is the sizing. So you can add a compact Spotify embed, or you can add a normal Spotify embed. So if you remember from the example website with Bondi Lines, this is more of a compact type and whereas the pharmacy is more of a, a height type or a normal type. So once that's done, you can actually tick this button here where it shows code and you can see the code that we'll be copying. You wanna hit the button copy right here. You wanna go back into Webflow. You wanna go back to your embed and just paste that in. And once that's done, you'll see it live on the canvas. For this example right here, because this has so many songs, if I go back to Spotify, this has about I don't know, like over a hundred songs. It doesn't really make sense for this to be this certain height. So what we can do is we can actually manipulate this by going into the HTML embed. And right now you can see it's got a fixed height of 352 pixels. In this instance, it will probably be better if this was just a bit taller. So we can go ahead and just manually change the height. Let's just say 800 pixels, hit save and close. And you'll notice that it's much, much better. And if we actually publish this, we can see that everything will be working and responsiveness is also done, automatic. So right here, if I just go in this example website, we can see our Spotify embed is right there. The user can play songs right here. They can also scroll down to see the additional songs. We've also added a height of 800 pixels. So that's how you add an embed. And it's the exact same thing if you wanna embed just a specific song. For example, this one right here, where is my mind? If I go here, I want to embed this song, I can just click this three dot icon, hit share, hit embed track. And you can see that we have a color selected and we can just click copy. We can change it from normal to compact, depending on what you want. And just one more thing, let's just say you want to embed a podcast. What you can do is you can click this three dot icon, hit embed show right here, and you can click copy. And then if we go back into Webflow and you paste that in, you may notice that it only pastes the most recent episode of that podcast. So if you don't want that to happen, what you need to do is you need to add or create a new public playlist. And in that public playlist, you need to add all the podcast episodes manually. So for example, in this instance, Sustainable Builders Podcast, I've created a public playlist and I have to manually add each one of these podcasts into this playlist, meaning you have to manually update it. And then you can embed that and it'll show everything at once. So that's how I would add a podcast inside 
of your website. Um, and at the time of recording this video, this may change in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want more Webflow videos and design videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I'll see you guys there.